Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at viewing your hard drive stats on a Mac using SmartMon tools. So this does require Mac ports to be installed. So I'll put a link in the description to some videos I made on installing Mac ports. So this can be a little confusing because the package is called SmartMon tools, but the utility is called SmartCTL. So I'll close this window and I have my terminal up here and I have three tabs open. This first tab that's open is my 2012 MacBook Pro and it has a one terabyte SATA drive. The middle tab is my Mac mini with the M1 processor and it has a one terabyte drive and I think that has an NVMe interface on it. And then the third here is just this computer and this is my 2015 MacBook Pro and it has a one terabyte Samsung SSD NVMe upgrade. So these all have one terabyte SSDs in them. And the reason I'm installing this on the MacBook Pro is because I already have it installed on the other computer. So I'm going to install it on this computer and then I'll check the stack that's on two other computers. So to install, you want to type sudo space, and then you need to make sure MacPorts is up to date. So I'll type port self update. I'll hit enter. I'll enter my password. Okay, that's completed. So next I would run this command here, which is port upgrade outdated. So I type sudo space port space upgrade space outdated. But I haven't updated this in a while and it could take a while, so I'm going to skip this step. But I would probably run that before installing new software. So to install SmartMon tools, you want to type in sudo space port space install space SmartMon tools. Hit enter. Okay, that installed. And there's a note here, it says a startup item has been generated that will aid in starting SmartMon tools with launch D. It is disabled by default. Execute the following command to start it and to cause it to launch at startup. So then you could type sudo port load smartmon tools. So I'm just demonstrating here how to view your stats on the hard drive, but there is other functionality in smartmon tools that you could install. So I'll clear my screen here. So I need to figure out which hard drive I want to view. So what I'll type is disk util and then list. And this will show all the hard drives here. So we have dev disk zero and dev disk one and dev disk one says synthesized. So what we actually want is dev disk zero. So if I want to see the stats on dev disk zero, I want to type in smart CTL space dash a space forward slash dev forward slash disk zero. I'll hit enter and that will pull up the information on this drive. So this is giving us the model of it, the serial number, the firmware version, the capacity, and all sorts of different bits of data. So this is a SATA drive. Let's move over to the Mac mini with the M1 processor and I'll run the same command. I'll run disk util list. And I have a disk image mounted here, but we want to pay attention to dev disk zero again. And you'll notice kind of a pattern. I would still check to make sure you know what disk you're looking up, but it's probably going to be dev disk zero. So I'll type smart CTL space dash A, and then the forward slash dev forward slash disk zero. So here we have some more detailed information. We have the temperature, which is 24 degrees Celsius. So it tells the data units read, and I've read 5.33 terabytes to this drive. It says data units written is 3.22 terabytes. And it also tells us things like the power cycles, it's 143, power on hours is 73, and unsafe shutdowns is 11. So this is a relatively new computer, but I do do video editing on it. So I do write and read quite a few bytes. Now I'll switch over to the computer I'm on. And this was my previous video editing computer, and I still use it, but I don't edit as much video on it since I got the Mac mini. So I'll run through this quick. I'll say disk util list smart CTL dash A dev disk zero. There we go. So this has similar stats to the Mac mini with the M1 processor. It tells us the units read, it's 28 terabytes, and the data units written is 11 terabytes. The power on cycles is 57, and the power on hours is 9,130. So you can see the power on hours is a lot more for the old drive than it is for the new one. I don't know why I have so many power cycles on the Mac mini M1 though, because I don't start it and stop it very often, but uh, I do turn it off every now and then. But I rarely power cycle my laptop. I usually reboot it for system updates, and that's about it. And I've had around 20 unsafe shutdowns there. This also has two temperature sensors in it. So one is 44 degrees Celsius and the other one is 53 degrees Celsius. So I'm just showing how to do stats with these. If you want to find out more, you can type in man and then smart CTL and you can read about all of the things you can do with this utility. It can be a pretty handy utility for, you know, viewing stats and things like that. So you can read through all this and then you can Google for tutorials if you want to 
dive deeper into any of these areas. But I think it's a pretty handy utility to have. It's really nice to be able to, at least on these newer drives, see how many bytes and bits were written to the drive because SSDs will run out if you write to them too many times. But as the technology progresses, the write endurance of SSDs is just getting better and better every day. So it's becoming less and less of an issue. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.